let's talk about trauma and trauma responses one of the trauma responses and one of the main ones is when we are in a victimized state of mind when we are victimizing ourselves when we don't take responsibility for ourselves and for our trauma what we tend to do when we do that is we tend to blame other people for our trauma we tend to blame others and we hold that against them we think when we blame others it's nothing to do with us but who really that is your golden trap that is exactly what doesn't allow you to grow and doesn't allow you to heal your trauma and this is what we're going to talk about today hi everyone it's Sylvia Kuchena here welcome to my channel today we will be talking about trauma response and victimized mentality and also blaming because all of that is trauma response and I would like to talk a little bit more about that this is a difficult subject because when you have done no inner child tra um, trauma work or no inner child uh, work on yourself no internal work whatsoever this video probably will be maybe a trigger to you or you will not uh, agree with this you will not uh, probably want to listen to it because somehow it's going to be your trigger which is absolutely fine you're absolutely entitled to your feelings um i just want you to be aware um what might happen to you if you have done no work on yourself whatsoever but you have experienced trauma so trauma <laughs> trauma has many faces we know that there's all there's also different type of trauma the trauma that i would like to talk about um it's developmental trauma it's the trauma that happened to you when you were a child when you were much um younger version of yourself when you know when you were very much dependent on other people but also when you needed others to survive so developmental trauma and so you know and when you have experienced trauma in early stages of your life you have developed then many skills coping skills to help you deal and to help you um, not so much heal not so much cure your trauma but to survive your trauma there's a huge difference between healing and there's a huge difference between surviving something when you're surviving something um once again you don't you know feel the enjoyment you don't feel exploration you don't want to um you, you know you don't have open mind and you don't want to explore things because you're surviving something you're at a danger so you all what you think about get me out of this situation i did talk about survival mode in my previous video so if you would like to watch that i encourage you to do it but as a result of you know developmental trauma we if it's developmental of it's any other trauma you have developed many different coping mechanisms to help you survive it to help you deal with what happened to you in the most efficient way so you can get out of that situation as soon as possible but also then your body remembers the same feelings the body also remembers the same um you know when you will be in a similar situations but the feeling will be the same it will be your triggers so your body is going to send you signals be careful this is not safe you've been there we have experienced that get out of this situation as soon as possible because it's not safe so then 
auto when you again when you are have no self awareness you will automatically get out of the situation whether it's and that itself it could be self destructive behaviors so let's say uh, you have been abandoned or rejected by one of your parents and you think you're not lovable you think when you get close to somebody that someone then has power over you and then it's going to hurt you eventually you know how it's going to end right because your parent left you so there's no way you're going to allow yourself to get close with somebody else romantically because you know your body remembers how it's actually going to end you know the end so the minute you feel closer with somebody your nervous system has been activated your body is sending signals to your brain get out of this situation this is not safe we know how it ends get out and you will not feel comfortable you'll be all in your head you will feel like you want to reject the other person even though then you go home you do that you go home and you think why did i not stay why did i why could I not commence to this even more? Like, why could I not give more? Why could I not? Why could you not? You could you not? You could not because you've been activated. You have been, your trauma has been activated. You've been triggered. That's why you could not stay. So this is why working on yourself, on your own behaviors, on self-awareness, doing something, making decisions consciously is the key to step into different approaches to different coping, to develop different coping mechanisms, more healthier one, not living in the autopilot habitual behaviors that is all about reputation the whole all over again the whole system of trauma be careful being in survival world is dangerous you have to get out of that and the only how you can do it is to be more aware of what happened and then be more aware of your own behaviors when you've been triggered but before you can do that you also have to know your triggers and when when we are more when we're becoming more aware of our triggers when we're more aware of ourselves when we're more conscious of ourselves we feel like we're automatically we're working on like a side effect of that work is actually becoming more confident feeling more worthy taking care of yourself feeling more important that is the side effect of healing your trauma but before you can do that, you have to become more aware of yourself, of what you do, of your old behaviors, of your old beliefs, your perceptions. One of the trauma responses is actually blaming other people for what happened to us, blaming parents, let's say blaming the abuser blaming other people that we have been traumatized that you know blaming others for our trauma this mindset of blaming i'm this because of my parents and this because of this and this because of whatever happened when we have this mindset Number one, we preventing ourselves to take control. 
we're then staying and we're forcing ourselves to be the victim of the situation. And when we are acting like a victim, there is no way we take any responsibilities for ourselves. There is no way we can then feel like we can change anything. Never mind even doing it. We don't even feel that we can. Everyone is bad. Everyone is, you know, uh, dangerous. We then tend to think, then to develop um, loads of expectations that people should act certain ways, that we should be um, treated certain ways. When we do that, we prevent ourselves from growing. We don't grow. We don't evolve. We don't heal. We stay in that trauma and we leave and leave. We experience the trauma over and over again. Not because it's happening over and over again. It's because you do nothing to heal it. Because you took it as normal and you don't believe that you can do anything about it. That's not the way. That's not the way to be. Why? Because you're not living, you're surviving. And that doesn't help you with anything. That doesn't allow you to hit your potential. That doesn't allow you to be truly who you're meant to be. Instead, you're telling yourself, you're telling the story to yourself, all of those things that you cannot do or be because of them. Because your parents didn't allow you to be this way. Your, um, their behavior impacted you because they didn't love you. They were bad parents. They were this, they were that. The truth is, your parents did the best that they could. And they tried. Whether they didn't do a job, didn't do a good good job, well, if they didn't, then you have to and you have to own this part. You have to tell yourself the truth, but without blaming them. With the minute you start to blame others, It's stopping yourself from being the true, authentic self. The minute you start to blame your parents, not taking care of me, not allowing, not loving me, not making me feel visible, not making me feel good enough, not making me feel special, I always question myself. I always question everything that I do. My mother maybe loved me too much. She never ever allowed me to do anything. She, you know, she was a very anxious person herself and she would just project that anxiety onto me. Yes. If that is your truth, yes. Okay. But that was when you were an adult. What can you do now as when you were a child? That happened when you were a child. So now, from an adult perspective, what can you do? You're not that child anymore. Stop living all the time in the past. When you don't heal, you're living constantly in the past. You're forcing yourself to be the vulnerable child. You have to heal your inner child. And for that, you have to be the responsible adult yourself. Is this healing easy? No, it's not. Is it worth it? 100%. Because it's going to free you. And surprisingly, it's going to free your parents or anybody else who caused you traumatic experience 
When you start blaming your parents, you're detaching yourself from them. You're detaching yourself from yourself. You're being in the cage. You, you're locking yourself in the golden cage. Yes, from outside, it all looks fine. Oh, sure, I'm fine. But really, you're not flying. You're stuck in a cage. When from outside is the illusion of, yes, this is great, this is perfect, I'm, I'm fine. But are you really though? Are you really happy? Are you really flying to your potential? Are you really doing the things that you think you would love to do? Or are you just the bare minimum surviving? It's time that you stop blaming others for your trauma. No matter how bad it was, you deserve to heal yourself. You deserve to free yourself from that trauma. You deserve to be loved, truly, unconditionally loved by yourself. You don't have to keep looking for external love. You don't have to keep looking for external validations, for other things to make you feel good. You don't, you, you, you don't need that. When, when we all the time looking for things that outside of us to heal us, when we constantly looking for things to make us happy outside of us, we might really engaging in the very self-destructive behaviors. And that could be compulsive shopping. It could be unhealthy, unsafe sex. It could be addiction, addiction to drugs, addiction to um, porn. It could be addiction to alcohol, it could be addiction to gambling. On top of that, we developed all of these huge expectations of how we should be treated or what people should be doing to us or for us. Once again, this is all survival. You think that all those things will make you happy, will heal you, will cure you. It never does. It never does. Any of those self-destructive behaviors never brings you healing or it never gets you to the place where you really truly want to be. And the only way to do that, to feel it, to become it, is actually through the internal work not from anything outside of you. So even when you blame others, that's right, it's actually external. It's actually external. Once again, it won't heal you. So as traumatized children, we might tend to engage in loads of different beliefs or behaviors. Um, and we tend to either become like our parents. So, oh, they, they, so the mindset, when we do that, the mindset is more like, oh my goodness, they suffer so much. So if I will take some of their sufferings, we will suffer together. So I'm going to save them and they will not have to suffer themselves. That's one mindset. Stay with that, okay? <laughs> the other mindset could be, sure, I'm going to be better than them. I will not make the same mistakes. I will be, I'm better than them. I know better. And I will show them how to do it right. Okay, <laughs> stay with it. Another example of in our child, it'd be the superhero. I'm going to fix 
them. I'm going to help them and I will fix their problems. Never mind just taking them, feeling their emotions and suffer with them. I will actually tell them and push them and get them to I'll fix their problems. I will be the fixer. I will talk to them and I will tell them how to do things and I will have to and I will tell them everything. I tell I will tell them how to survive this. Another thing is, oh sure, there's nothing we can do, life is shit, life is difficult, so if they can cope, I can cope, so why, why even bother to try, why even bother to leave? It is what it is, life isn't easy, get on with it. Another mindset, it could be complete detachment. Detachment from the parents, detachment from siblings, detachment from that part. Never ever talk about your childhood ever. Not keeping contact with your parents. Like, wall. And as children, you even, you know, slowly you, you were kind of detaching yourself and going further and further away. The minute you could think for yourself, like being in the late teenagers, you like Phew! out of the country somewhere and don't visit them. Or not even calling them. And if you do, it's like very odd, very rarely. So with all those mindsets, there is one thing in common in all of them. And that is our arrogance. Arrogance that we could fix them, we could help them, we could do better than them, that we could do nothing because they did nothing. There is an arrogance of us thinking like this. It's arrogance for not allowing ourselves to see the bigger picture and really see that your parents are not robotic, that they did what they could. Even if they did, if, even if they did shit, they had the right to do shit, okay? Because probably their childhood wasn't as easy and your grandparents' childhood wasn't that easy and great-grandparents wasn't that easy. So stop blaming or stop telling yourself that you can do better by putting them lower. The minute you don't it's different mindset of blaming them. It's different mindset of, I can do better than you. Or, I'm aware of your mistakes and I'm choosing not to repeat them while I still want you in my life and I still appreciate you for what, the, all the things that you actually did not all the things that you didn't do, but even through your mistakes, I can take responsibility for myself. And yes, I can heal myself and then I can really see how much I could grow through this trauma. I can really see myself how many actually good, difficult, but good lessons I took from the experience that you gave me when I was little. There's a huge difference in that mindset. And you got to be clear on that.
blaming your parents for the mistakes blaming your parents for not loving you for not giving you the love you're only doing harm to yourself your parents are not perfect and so you're not nobody is we're not meant to be perfect we meant to be vulnerable we meant to learn we meant to grow we meant to evolve but to do that you have to make mistakes and you learn from them reflect on it out of every single living creatures on this planet we as humans we have the most developed brain we have the most developed consciousness use it use it it's not coincidence that we 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 have it because we have jobs to do in here we have to learn blaming others being the victim, telling yourself that you can't do something because something happened 30 years ago won't do you good. It will keep you in that cage. It will keep you small. And it will actually impact the relationship that you have with the parents. If, if for say, you have bigger awareness than your parents does. If you have bigger self-awareness, you're more conscious of everything that was going on, you're more aware of what was happening then and how their behaviors impacted you. Have a conversation with them about it. Allow them to know what you know but without blaming you can't blame because when you do that they're going to activate their nervous system and their trauma triggers they will protect themselves and they will not listen they'll be like where are you going with this Wait a second, you're not blaming me. I did nothing here. So the minute you start to blame your parents, you will activate their, their nervous system and they will be like, Wait, where are you going? I don't want to hear this. I'm not taking any blame here. No way. And it's not because they don't want to hear you. It's because you are ready. Their body can sense the blaming. And when they do, had their nervous system being activated and they're not no longer in position to actually listen to you. It's not happening. It's, it, it can't happen. They're, you're actually, when you're being very confronton, confrontational to, with your parents, what you do is actually you're putting and you're pushing them to their own trauma triggers. So all would they then be in the state of how can I survive this conversation? Like they're in survival mode. No good. Not good. Not good for you because you won't get what you want. They will not understand where is this coming from. So once again, you can't blame others because you don't know how bad of their experience was it's not fair on them we might be very angry with our parents we might be very angry with our abusers we might be very oh, frustrated but it's it's yours and it's only yours and you've got to work on that. No one but you. So start taking responsibility for yourself. Start taking responsibility for how you respond. 
Blaming and being a victim will not help you, will not heal you. Engaging in self-destructive behaviors will not help you, it will not heal you. It's time you shake off that victimized mindset. Look in the mirror and really tell yourself, who am I? What can I be if I wouldn't blame others for my trauma? What can I learn from my traumas? What personality traits do I actually, the good ones, what good personality traits do I actually have because of what happened to me? Everything in this universe has polar opposites with everything to everything and that is with that too. If, not if, trauma has a bad side, but also when you do the healing underneath, you always, always, you're always going to find the good spot, the good, the growth, always. So my dear people, that's everything for today. I hope some of this conversation could resonate with you and I hope this hopefully somehow will wake something in you and will help you make the first step to the proper healing process, not to the self-destructive victimized mindset. You can do it, I believe in you. So thank you so much for everything thank you so much for being here if you like this please like this video share it with your friends or subscribe to my channel every week i'm going to post a new video here so i see you around <laughs> bye